people were so stubborn. Anybody else see them? Anybody here know a stubborn person? Come on, everybody know one. You ain't me old. Come on, be honest. You laughing. You know somebody's stubborn. Close in your family. No, I'm talking about that girl behind you. <laughs> she thought that. Now, honest people, how many know somebody stubborn? And the honest folks say no. They tough. You know what a stubborn person is? They could be thirsty. You tell them to drink water. They, they so stubborn, they won't drink it because you, you tell them. You ever seen anybody like that? Bullhead. These people were so stubborn. These Jewish people and these religious folks in Jesus' day, they were so stubborn, they were so rebellious that Jesus said, I'll blind their eyes so they can't even see. And he's not talking about these natural eyes. He said, I will blind their spiritual eyes so they can't see that I might heal them. He said, I'll blind them. And that's what he did. He blinded their eyes. And then Jesus hardened their hearts. Now they should not see with their eyes. He said, you want to walk in your own way? Let me help you out. Thank you, Jesus. Let me help you out. Now in the, in the letters to the church, after the death, burial, resurrection, after the church was born on the day of Pentecost, after 3,000 souls were baptized in Jesus' name, after 3,000 souls at Pentecost were baptized in Jesus' name, Filled with the Holy Ghost. After that, when the gospel started being preached to the world, the Bible said, now the devil blinded people out. Mind. He went to work. He blinded their minds that they couldn't see the truth. Jesus blinded the eyes of the Jewish people in his day. And after the church was born, when the gospel is going forth, that man could be saved, the devil blinded their mind. Why? Through tradition. Through denomination. Have you all ever noticed young people? You all are young. Your minds are tender. You can absorb the word of God. Your spirits are open to God's word. Have you ever noticed young people? Same in Jesus' day. There's nothing new under the sun. Have you ever noticed how people love to talk about Jesus? Wear t-shirts on campus. Young people on campus wear t-shirts. Jesus is my Lord. I love God. He's my all in all. But you look at them, you can't tell them from the people that don't go to church. They don't know God. See, that's blind. They're still cussing. Still smoking. Be a party. I would look at him and say, What kind of God you say? Oh, Jesus. Well, that Jesus you talking about must not have no power or you can't stop doing that. Amen. Jesus brought power, young people. See, I tell my tell, I'm not proud of my past, but I'm not ashamed to share it. It takes a God to deliver you from sin. I wasn't born saved. I was born in sin. Shaped in the knee. I'm not worthy to preach. But God saved me. He washed me. He cleaned me up. He chose me. He sent me. That's his grace. That's why I praise him. I'm not ashamed to praise him. Because he delivered me. He delivered me from death. He delivered me from hell. I deserve hell. I deserve hell. I deserve the grave. I deserve eternal damnation. But by the grace of God. and give God the biggest praise you got. Oh, no. Anybody been delivered like me? Oh, 
our hands. Thank you, Jesus. Burn it. Do it your way. Go ahead and do it. Thank you, Jesus. If you're not going to listen, Jesus said, go ahead and do it. He said, I'll help you out. I'll fix it so you can't see. Walking in the home with the Bible said, blind lead the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, they both fall in the ditch. Verse 4, I'm going to read. These things said Esaias when he saw his glory and spake of him. Read. Nevertheless, among the chief rulers, also many believed on him. Yeah, a lot of them, a lot of the chief people, and they believed on him. But look, watch this. Here's what's dangerous. But because of the Pharisees, because of their religion, see, they did not confess him. Lest they should be put out of the synagogue. In other words, they said, I deny Jesus. I believe, I believe you're right. But I can't go along with you because they're going to throw me out of church if I go talk, talk in holiness. People today are selling out on Jesus because of family religion, family ties, and family denomination. Because they know family going to flip the script. You know, people, you can get baptized in Jesus' name today and start a new walk with him today. And the first people coming against you is your folks. Mm -hmm. You better give me some more. Y'all looking at me funny. Luke, I, better, I better put the word on this. Luke 21. Turn to Luke 21. Also, give me the scripture where he said that the man in the those that's on my house. You got that again? It's on my house. Read. Luke 21 and what? Verse 16. Luke 21 and 16. You can start your walk to these people. A lot of people that were the executives in the church. They knew Jesus was right. They knew his message was right. But they would not confess him. Because they were more worried about what their religion was going to say. What their denomination was going to say. They were worried about people versus Jesus. Now let's say, people don't have a heaven to put you in, nor a hell. Read. Luke 21, verse 16. And ye shall be betrayed both by parents. Wait a minute. That can't be right. Jesus said, the first one coming against you is your folks. Parents. You're going to be betrayed by me. My parents and brethren, your brothers, your brethren, going to come against you. Your household to be. And care, folks. Oh, Lord. Cuz. Cuz going to turn on you. Mama going to call cuz. Lord, my child gone crazy. What happened? She went to college. She went off to college and got tied up in that holy mess. That's what they call it. They still sucking cigarettes and singing in the choir and calling you sanctified and holy, delivered from it, a mess. And that's messed up. Because the relatives coming against you, the Bible is right, you know what I mean? And friends, them friends you thought you had, child, she don't roll with us no more. I don't know what happened to her. She don't even look the same. She hang around them old holy girls. I don't know what's going on. I went to that church and they're speaking in tongues. We got out of there. <laughs> that's what they tell. That's what they're going to say. They're going to tell everybody on campus. You walk in the cab, they won't even sit and eat with you. You see them sneaking in the moon. If you can survive it, you're on your way. Amen. Read and some of you shall they cause to be put to death. Some happen to you bad. They'll think it's God's will. Read. And you shall be hated of all men. What the Bible say? You shall be hated of all men. Why? For my name's sake. You ain't did nothing to nobody. You haven't offended your family. You haven't offended your mother, your brothers, your friends. Oh, the only thing you've done is obey the Bible. The only thing you've done is repented of your sin. Baptized in Jesus' name, you got baptized in that same Jesus' name they talk about. That same Jesus' name they preach about. That same